Okay, vocalists, here is your challenging vocal exercises for the month of May. The sing-along version is also plenty challenging, so feel free to pop back and forth, but um, this one is intended to have plenty of ear training in it as well for more advanced singers. And the legato exercises, which is what we're fo focusing on this month, are going to be a little more challenging. So here we go. Here we go. We're gonna start with some ease, but usually we work up to the leap. We're starting with the leap. So we're gonna sing. repeated notes and what we're doing is using our air to pulse but not stop so it's going to be but not ever there's places for that but this month is legato so here we go with the pulse and stop. Now here's the big challenge here. No glottals. So no ah, 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 ee, ee, ee. Hopefully you can hear that over the recording. But stopping the breath and then a balanced onset back in sounds like this. Ee, 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 ee. And you can hear the contrast between that with glottals. Ee, 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 and of course, that is not kind to your vocal folds. Only use glottals extremely judiciously for a purposeful acting moment and not the rest of the time. So we have balanced onset ease. tired if you're getting vocally tired check to see if you are using glottals <laughs> set stops and legato in our ooze today. So we'll sing. ever. 
We'll do this exercise a little slowly so you can mind your glottal. legato within text. We're going to use the alphabet for this and for those of you that have done it before it's the one on one note that ends with um, W, X, Y, N, Z at the end. Um, for those of you that don't know it well it does that at the end and uh, beware it's kind of fun. Now often we do this very short right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. We're not going to do that today. We're gonna make it legato, laying the text on top so the text is still understandable. I warned you at the beginning of this, right? So one long breath. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, N, Z. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, N, Z. and worship leaders, you may have noticed that one was just for you for the chanting. And if you didn't notice, now you can go back and notice. Um, one more, we're going to do some ear training. We're going to use one chords and five chords, and they're going to be in inversions. So our one chord, we're going to sing one, three, five, three, one, three, five, one, five, three, five, one, three, one, five, five, three, one. With that root position, first inversion starting on three, second inversion starting on five, and then finishing on the root, which is one. Start out here. One, three, five, three, one. Three, five, one, five, three, five, one, three, five, one, five, three, one. What's about me? Five, 
inversion which is seven two four five and then we'll land on one so here's how the exercise is going to sound we'll start with a one chord so you have one in your brain and then we'll sing seven two four five one then you get a new one seven two something to chew on. Have a great rest of your day.